Bram, the Chesterfield play gone from Impact Wrestling. This is BQ when I do this for the Impact Wrestling fans. Well, how about instead of focusing on those yahoos, you focus yourself on Eli Drake. Hey, Impact Wrestling fans, BQ here. This is the Impact Lounge. Make sure to hit that subscribe button here on the channel. So the news came out today that Bram has been granted his release from Impact Wrestling. Now, I knew this was something that was actually in the works for quite some time now. I wasn't at liberty to say anything, and, uh, you know... There's certain things that certain things that get passed to me sometimes, which I feel are private matters. And this was something I knew it was coming. And Bram is done with the company. I liked Bram quite a bit. I think his accent held him back a little bit. Not because it wasn't a good accent, but sometimes when you have an accent and you're on American programming, much as Drew Galloway had said a lot in the past, you kind of got to learn how to Americanize your accent a little bit. And I think that would have made him a bit more effective. I always thought Bram had a really, really good look. I mean, he's, um, gosh, he's kind of a com comparable to uh, Roman Reigns a little bit. You know what I mean? And look at the, you know, look at uh, the rocket pack um, attached to his back. So Bram, I, we definitely wish we could have saw more with the DCC. We've talked about that at great lengths here on the channel. And, uh, I, you know, he had a... Reign as King of the Mountain champion when he beat Eric Young when he was leaving the company. And it wasn't a great reign. It was I, I remember like it was yesterday. He won the title from Eric Young. There was no drama to it. He didn't look like he was excited he won. He just he just didn't really didn't really sell the win. The commentary team didn't sell the win. And he ended up losing the King of the Mountain title to Eli Drake a little bit after that. But again, Bram had a great look. I, I kinda liked his moveset for big guy and, and frankly most of the people, most of the wrestlers who were associated with the TNA name are, are, are pretty much been either shown the exit or have left on their own. Now, there's some reasons for this because some of the wrestlers who were there for a while and who were comfortable with how things are going didn't like the change. I've talked about it in great lengths on my podcast as well. I see it in military life all the time. Every two years, we get a new commander. And everything changes. Everybody who's been there is upset, saying everything was fine the way it was. The new people who come in are fine because they don't know any better. And I think that's something the fans forget sometimes too. I, I said this uh, last week. People wanted Dixie Carter's head on a plate. Well, this is what you get now. There's going to be turnover. And, you know, it seems like Bram did not have a place. And I think what happened with Noah, with Pro Wrestling Noah, didn't really set, sit well with the company. Even though it was a joke. But even I know as someone who's been to Japan once in my life, and it was for 24 hours, um, they carry themselves very differently over there. And that kind of humor really isn't appreciated. But with all that said, Bram is no longer with the company. It's unfortunate. A lot they could have really done with him. I, I even think he could have been in the main event scene a little bit. But, you know, again, we've talked about the DCC so much on this channel. And... Uh, him and Storm would have made a really, really good pairing. I wish we could have at least got them as a babyface tag team or something. But Bram is done, and I think Bram will, Bram will find a lot of work in the UK. I don't think we're going to see him on any other uh, programs. Definitely not on NXT, if you know the backstory with that. So I do wish Bram well going forward. I know he deals with a lot of drama with the uh, situation with Charlotte and everything. But Bram is a good guy. I think he was well-liked by a lot of the Impact Wrestling fans. And there's, it's like I said, the people associated with the name TNA are just either leaving or being asked, asked to leave. And it's just a new era. So it's something we have to live with. And in many cases, I'm okay with it. And sometimes it's kind of difficult. But Bram, no longer with the company. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.